Well, good evening, Noswonky here. Well, just a little car vlog today. I've uh, been in Sydney today doing a few things, mainly packing up stuff at our old house, getting ready to move everything out. We've now got a, a project manager who's going to manage all the, uh, the renovations we're having. You know, the bathroom renovated, the kitchen renovated, new carpets, painting and stuff like that, landscaping in the garden. So this uh, project manager is going to organise all that because with us living 100 kilometres away, it's very difficult to do that. We don't want to have to, uh, you know, be there every time a, a tradesman comes. Meanwhile, we've got to pack up all our remaining stuff. We've still got quite a bit of stuff in our Sydney house. Because when we moved, we only took the stuff that, that we really needed. And we took the stuff that I could fit in my car. And uh, so where am I now? I'm, uh, I've just passed through Blacksland. If you're familiar with the Blue Mountains, you'll know that Blacksland is sort of uh, the beginning of the mountains. You, you come up from the plain up onto the mountains, and Blacksland is one of the first towns. And um, I've got maybe another 40 kilometres of undulating mountain terrain to negotiate before I reach home. And as you can see, I've got two cameras running. The one shooting the, uh, the road scene out the front window is a little uh, compact camera, Canon, a Canon Ixus camera. Hang on, just overtake this truck. Well, there you have it. Overtake. Yuko didn't come with me today. Uh, she's packed up most of her stuff already. I've got more stuff than she has. So, I'm coming down to Sydney on my own sometimes to do packing. It's a lot of work moving house, you know. I don't want to move house anymore. Last night I tried using my telescope for the first time at our new house. We've been there about three months. It's three months since we moved and I hadn't, I hadn't got out my telescope to, to use it. It's been cold. You know. it, it is a, a bit of an effort to get it out in uh, cold weather. It's quite a bit of work to set it up as well. So I got it out last night, wheeled it from the garage round to the backyard because there's a nice flat area there where I can set it up. Set it up, which takes maybe 20 to 30 minutes to set up. And it was all ready and Yuko said, take a, a picture of the stars. She wanted a picture of the stars for her blog. So she gave me her camera. Now I can't really take a picture through the telescope so I took some wide field pictures with uh, Yuko's nice SLR camera, Nikon camera, and this is the result. Yeah this is I think a 60 second exposure at about, I think, 3200 ISO and f2.4, I think. And it's not bad. Yeah, it shows a lot of stars. The sky's fairly good at uh, our new house. It's in the mountains, of course, so it's much better than Sydney. And you can see a lot of, uh, a lot of stars in the sky. But, after I took this picture, well, I took a few pictures, and uh, 
and then I was going to go and start looking at stuff with my telescope and I noticed there was cloud coming in and within a few minutes it was completely clouded over and so I didn't get to see anything with my telescope after going to all the trouble of setting it up and, uh, and then I was worried that it was going to start raining <laughs> so I had to quickly find a big plastic bag to put over my telescope because if it did start raining you know it'd be very difficult to get the telescope out of the rain it's, it's big and heavy I mean I can't lift it as, as it is you have to dismantle it or you know at least take the tube off the mount and move the two parts separately so I left it there for an hour or so with the plastic bag on it but it didn't clear up so I had to take it apart again and I didn't see anything well I saw one star no I saw two stars which the stars which I used to align the computer you, you pointed at two different stars and tell the computer what you're pointing at and the, that's how the computer knows where it's pointing so that was very frustrating now my compact camera is coming up to 10 minutes I think it's limited to 10 minutes clip length I think it's going to stop any second oh I think it stopped yeah why do they limit it to 10 minutes I don't understand that I'll just press recording it but the card's nearly full well there you have it a driving vlog